Hello friends, this is Lindsay for So Fancy. I hope this video tutorial finds you doing well. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video where we are combining crafts, kids, and recycling. So we are sharing um, three projects that use just ordinary items from around your house, items that you'd normally um, probably just throw away, um, but instead can upcycle with your kids to create something crafty and beautiful. So if you and your kids have never done upcycling crafts before, well, this is a lot of fun because it really uses your creativity and ingenuity because you're going to be thinking about things in different ways. So these crafts were um, using a uh, empty containers that we've transformed into the most adorable jack-o'-lanterns and the jack-o'-lantern faces um, come as a set as part of the um, fall and winter kids bundle at So Fancy. So there's a link in the video description um, to check out that bundle and you and your little ones in your life are just going to have so much fun picking out the different eyes and nose and mouth um, to transform some empty containers into jack-o'-lanterns. So scour your shelves for empty or almost empty containers and um, here's some ideas on how you can upcycle them into some adorable jack-o'-lanterns. So for the first project, um, we're using a laundry soap container. This container um, is already bright orange and round, so it's just asking to be transformed into a jack-o'-lantern. Um, you do have to remove um, the label, which isn't super glamorous, but um, with a product like Goo Gone, then you'll be able to remove it cleanly. And here's a little tip when working with Goo Gone, since it's um, super runny um, and you really don't need much at one time. Um, so after you open it, instead of peeling off the seal on the top, just poke a small hole into it with a needle. And then you can um, dispense just a few drops at a time, which is sometimes really all you need. So once you've removed um, the label, there's a label on the top, lid, um, and the front and the back of the container. Um, you want to wash the container really well with soap and water to um, remove the Goo Gone residue. Then take your jack-o'-lantern face, and um, I cut this face um, with um, Oracle 651 permanent adhesive vinyl, um, and I cut that on my Silhouette Cameo 4, but you can use any cutting machine you like. Um, in fact, you don't even have to use vinyl. You could cut these faces out of cardstock, um, and the shapes are even pretty simple, so you could even just print them out and have your kids trace and cut them out themselves if you wanted. But then go ahead and apply your jack-o'-lantern face to the laundry container. So um, um, I uh, transferred the face um, to some transfer tape and then I can just go ahead and um, apply it to the laundry container. And then it just comes out so adorable. I absolutely love how it came out. But then if you want, you can add um, some battery operated lights to the inside. So I found this strand in the floral section of the craft store. Um, so just turn on the lights and put them on. And um, then you got this fun lighted um, jack-o'-lantern. Next up, we're using an empty glass jar. So you could use a pickle jar, a jelly jar, you know, whatever. Um, just be sure to wash it out really, really well. Um, and then you'll also need to remove the label. So um, you can soak it in some hot soapy water and that can sometimes do the trick or you can use the Goo Gone. Um, and then um, if you find that the jar has like stamped writing on it um, and that bugs you, then you can actually remove that with some acetone or nail polish remover and a q-tip and it just wipes right off then grab some tissue paper and um, look at this cool paper i found it at the craft store it's ombre and i didn't know that they made tissue paper like that and i thought it would be really cool um, i actually didn't end up doing an ombre um, just using the um, orange but wouldn't that be fun for an um, ombre pumpkin but then just cut the tissue paper into small squares and a per Paper trimmer works perfect for doing this really quickly, but a pair of scissors also works just as well um, to cut the tissue paper into strips and then subcut those strips into about two inch squares. And then go ahead and take some Mod Podge and a foam brush and apply the Mod Podge to the glass and then just start layering on the tissue paper. And um, you've really got some creative li license here to do, you know, as many layers as you like. 
you know, if you want it to be more transparent, then just don't apply as much tissue. Um, or if, you know, you really want to layer it up, then um, you can do that as well with some more Mod Podge. Um, but when you're done, make sure the Mod Podge dries really well. Um, so preferably overnight. Um, but then it's ready for your jack-o'-lantern face. And so again, I'm going to use um, the permanent vinyl. Um, but you could just as easily cut the pieces in some black cardstock and um, adhere them to the jar with some glue. And then um, you can put the lid back on and some, you know, spiralized chenille sticks to mimic like leaves or stems. And then uh, this project, you could also add like a little battery operated tea light candle and just look how fun that is i mean you can't be scared of this cute little jack-o-lantern he's just too adorable and then the last craft that we're sharing using um, an aluminum can that we're painting orange and um, acrylic paint will adhere to the can but you're going to need um, a lot of coats to get it to cover up the label so I mean look at this one I have a lot of paint on it and you can still see through the paint so um, if you have a um, primer then um, go ahead and apply that first and then paint over it and you're going to get much better coverage um, for the paint and then like before choose your favorite jack-o'-lantern face you know there's a whole variety of little faces in the kids uh, fall and winter bundle um, and then go ahead and apply it and i think it's even fun to apply like one face on one side and then a different face on the other side so you can turn it around and again have different expressions so there you have it folks um, these projects are just inspiration you know take a look at what you what you have in your home and think about what you and your kids could upcycle um, the jack-o'-lantern faces that we used um, in these projects um, comes from the kids fall and winter bundle at so Fancy. so link in the video description to check that out see what you can create and have fun crafting with your kids thanks so much for watching you guys I hope you have a great rest of your day bye